Need some coins to that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out mudpacks.com where you guys can open up exciting packs, win tons of mud coins, and withdraw the coins to your account. Use code Zerk for 15% off. The whole thing wobbing. Today we have new Ultimate Legends to go over, hopefully they're pretty good. I do want to give a shout out to Logan Bear for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid, make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn the notification bell on and comment down below, Noti Gang. Also guys, my NBA picks for today are up right now. If you guys want to check out Underdog Fantasy, you can use code ZERK to match first deposit up to $100. And follow me over on Twitter for my NBA picks. I also have another pick em up for the 10pm game as well. For those of you guys that also have the Duke Booster Special, the new one is live right now in app and if they win this one then you will get another booster as well if you guys missed out on these specials don't miss out on the next one check out underdog use code zerk i'm a little bit of a surprise though guys we actually don't only have ultimate legends to go over we also have free agency ltds to talk about as well which we knew that there was going to be another release of free agency cards specifically LTDs. We just didn't exactly know what day they were gonna be coming. I will say I'm a little bit surprised to see these dropping the same day as Ultimate Legends. You would have expected maybe EA to push this out on potentially like a Monday or a Wednesday maybe, you know, a day we don't usually have content. Instead, they're just stacking them together with Ultimate Legends. So honestly, I'm okay with it. But we have Tremaine Edmonds here, which he did just sign with the Chicago Bears. So he has Chicago Bears cam and he has Buffalo Bills cam. Also with Edmonds, guys, he's six foot five, 98 block shed, 94 zone, 99 hit power, 95 speed, 93 excel. Again, EA decided to not tweet out the abilities as of the moment that I'm recording this part of the video here. So I don't know the abilities on him, but I'd imagine that he will likely get Lurker for zero AP as most top middle linebackers do nowadays. Uh, and maybe like Crusher or Inside Stuff, Run Stopper, something along the lines of that since he is a Run Stopper archetype. So if you guys have a Bears theme team or a Bills theme team, this is a nice little upgrade for you. Uh, middle linebackers at this point in the game, though, I personally don't care about all that much. But there's Jermaine Edmonds. And as for the second LTD, that is Dalton Schultz. Now, as of this very moment, he only has Cowboys chem because currently he still is a free agent. And honestly, I don't even know what the Cowboys are going to do with him. I expect us to kind of move on from Dalton Schultz, to be completely honest. But I would imagine if he does end up signing somewhere else, he will be updated with an additional team cam. Or if for some reason, somehow the Cowboys resign him, he will get times two uh, Dallas Cowboys cam. So he has 96 speed, 92 strength, 99 catching, 97 catch in traffic, 96 spectacular catch. Uh, the route running, 99 short route running is definitely pretty good. Medium route running of a 96 as well. And then he also has 82 run block, which is solid. Now, Dalton Schultz is six foot five. Uh, but I mean, honestly, there are some really good tight ends in the game. We obviously have Gronkowski. We have the team of the year Kittle. Uh, we have the team of the year Kelsey as well. So I don't really see Dolan Schultz taking any of their spots. But again, for theme teams, which is kind of what the free agency promo is about. This is pretty good. Dalton Schultz and also Edmonds, very, very good for theme teams. So if you have a Cowboys theme team or wherever he may land, it's a good upgrade for you. Again, I don't really see the purpose in EA releasing these cards here the same day as Ultimate Legends. I much more would have liked for this to be uh, more spread out, to be completely honest. I definitely would have preferred these to drop on maybe even Sunday or uh, a day that we don't usually have content on. But all right, EA, and I do believe this is the final release of the free agency promo from what ea said on the stream there was just part one and then some ltds so i think this is it so now let's get into the ultimate legends guys starting off with drew Brees. now from what i can recall i don't believe he actually has a card in the game so before you ask what his release is i don't know i have no clue i will also let you guys know though swift is currently visiting my house and i think he's doing jumping jacks downstairs while i recorded this video but we have drew breeze 84 speed 97 throw power 96 short 96 medium 97 deep uh looks pretty solid i mean is he the best quarterback in the game no we'll talk about his abilities here in a moment uh we also have justin tuck with 93 speed, 99 excel, 96 strength, 97 block shed, 91 power move, 98 finesse move. You kind of wish the power move was a little bit higher, but still going to be uh, a very, very solid defensive end. Uh, we also have Patrick Willis. Very exciting. Now, Patrick Willis, you guys will notice, has the X factor on him. 
he actually starts with avalanche for one ap 96 speed 94 excel 95 strength 98 blockchain 99 hit power 91 zone always a pretty hype middle linebacker as well uh so we got p will and then the first ltd is clay matthews yes we have five ultimate legends clay matthews 94 speed 98 excel 99 block shed 96 power move 97 finesse move and 93 strength that is a very 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 solid looking outside linebacker and the other ltd is going to be david de castro so this is back-to-back -back weeks now with a steelers offensive lineman as a limited because last week we had marquise pouncey this week we get david de castro right guard which i actually think is a very very good pick uh for a ultimate legend to be honest right now and this is a great pick 97 pass block 98 run block 97 strength as well uh very very good now let's take a look at the abilities on these cards you guys can see we have a lot of abilities to go over starting off with breeze he has three buckets or four buckets here you have the custom bucket one custom bucket two and then tier two and tier three so hara master for one sefi lee for one gunslinger for one pretty much everything is one ap so for hara master set feet lead gunslinger and fearless you're able to get all four of those on drew breeze which is exactly the combination you would want for a total of four ap which is pretty good now obviously if you guys are rocking out with that justin herbert who in my opinion has the best release in the game with slinger three and you add that token onto herbert he is able to get Sefi Lee, Howard Master, Gunslinger, and Fearless for 3 AP. He also is a lot faster than Drew Brees. And again, we don't know what release Brees is going to have. If I had to guess, though, like if they want this card to actually be good, you would think Brees would be Slinger 1 right not slinger three i would imagine he's more of a slinger one quarterback always had a pretty quick release so we'll see exactly uh what he is looking like in terms of his you know release there maybe he does get slinger one then all these abilities for four ap that's pretty solid uh, we also have patrick willis lurker for zero great to see crusher and enforcer for zero also great to see and then you can get secure tackler for one ap on him uh mid zone kill for one if you want as well very very nice there justin tuck edge third elite for one one ap beautiful to see there inside stuff as well for one ap uh, also gets double or nothing for zero no outsiders for zero secure tackler i personally am a big fan of running edge third elite i know there are people out there that have the secure protectors or uh, have the edge protectors whatever but you also you know pretty much get free fearless essentially with it so i'm not opposed to running an edge third elite out there also you can run the double or nothing for zero on him as well uh does get that inside stuff as well for one so very very solid clay matthews edge threat elite for one ap i wish it was zero there are some players in the game now that get it for zero and he's a limited felt like they should have made him a little bit better there once again double or nothing for zero no outsiders for zero you guys can see the stuff there and then finally david de castro who does get identifier for zero nasty streak that's beautiful to see for zero ap and poorly for zero also gets threat detector identifier and secure protector for one ap so those are all the ultimate legends coming out tomorrow uh, all the abilities on them obviously i feel like the biggest question mark is drew Brees. you know what kind of release does he get getting all those abilities for ap makes him a very very viable option and then like i said he has 84 speed which isn't terrible there's obviously faster qbs like herbert with 92 lamar with 98 uh you have ken stabler who is really, really good and gets you know the abilities you want for three ap and also has slinger three but he is left-handed which personally I am using Ken Stabler because I got him for free, you know, because he gets all those buddies for 3 AP, but I'm not a big fan of having a left-handed QB. Honestly, I am considering going out and picking up Justin Herbert because he gets the buddies for 3 AP, gas slinger three, and he's right-handed and also 92 speed. Although I do believe that if you are, you know, comfortable with left-handed QBs, that Stabler is probably still the best in the game. But those are the ULs. Let me know down below what you guys think about them. We have these cards coming out tomorrow. We have Clay Matthews LTD, David DeCastro LTD, and then of course we have the Schultz and the Edmonds as LTD. So four limiteds that are going to be in packs. Keep in mind, for some reason, the Ryan Neal and like CD Lamb, they're still in packs right now. They've been in packs since Tuesday. I don't know when they come out of packs. I'm guessing tomorrow. So maybe like the free agency LTDs, Dalton Schultz and Edmonds, they will be in packs for like four or five days as well. Who really knows anymore? But with that being said, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like on it. Hit that sub button down below. Check out Underdog Fantasy. Don't miss out on that next special. And hopefully Duke will keep advancing so we keep getting more of those. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.